We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Hedgesville Eagles, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, before we get into last week's game and previewing uh, this week's game, want to talk about the update on Moomaw Field and some scheduling changes that you guys have to make. Yeah, I mean, our, our homecoming game uh, next Friday will be played at Jefferson. Uh, Jefferson, you know, nice enough to let us use their facility while they're playing away. Uh, and then those uh, next two home games, the Mossman and one, but we're playing at Jefferson University. Coach, obviously, you know, you guys didn't plan to have to move games uh, to Saturdays or having to play at different stadiums. Um how do you think that affects your team kind of missing that home field advantage in terms of a typical Friday night? I mean, I, I think on a Friday night in Moomaw Stadium, I think it's one of the loudest places, the most electric places you can play. Uh, so we're definitely going to miss that. Um, the ones that I really feel bad for is our seniors. Uh, you know, our seniors didn't really get get to go out of the way uh, that most seniors do on their home field and, and go out in front of you know a pack house on a Friday night. So for us, it's gonna we're gonna try to do everything we can to get as many people down to Shepherd University to to support these guys and and all the adversity you know that that these guys have faced, and even our freshman and JV teams having to play all their games away now. So it, it's been a it's been a crazy couple of weeks. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's move over, talk about last week's game. Your team able to go out there, get a 38-15 to win against Washington to improve to 3-2. and What were your takeaways and just recap that game for us as well? I mean, other than the, you know getting hit with the one trick play there at the beginning, I thought our defense played really, really well. Uh, got after, pursued the football, played with effort, uh, played together. Uh, offensively, you know, we struggled in the first half, uh, you know, Dalton lost contact there in the first uh, first three minutes of the game. Uh, so his vision was pretty blurry, so we tried to go to Ian Wolf early, uh, try to get some momentum. Uh, but once we got the run game established and opened up uh, DeMonte and a couple others, getting some shots in, I think, you know, the, the offense really took all fours. Jake Young, you know, had a another really good game, three touchdowns rushing, and then Ty Bryant had one. So, I mean, we got the run game going for sure. You mentioned uh, Harper having to play without the or without his contact. Um, just what does that say about him as a leader and what he was able to do for you guys? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Dalton's a competitor. Uh, Dalton wants to play football. Doesn't matter whether it's quarterback, running back, linebacker, D line. He just wants to play football. And you know, we we got to that point when you know when he lost both his contacts that you know hey let's let's run the ball let's keep it simple till we can get his new contacts here get them in um just changed up the game plan a little bit uh just put it on the defense to keep it you know within striking distance until we got everything rolling let's look ahead now to this week a big game for your team as you guys are at Jefferson this week what have you seen from the Cougars so far on film I mean, really, really fast, really athletic. Uh, quarterback moves around really, really well. Got a good arm. Uh, strong, physical guys up front. I mean, it, it's it's the Jefferson that you've seen in the last 12, 10, 12 years. I mean, they're, they're really, really athletic, which that always gives us problems just because we don't have that many athletic guys that can run with those guys. So for us, really going to have to be disciplined this week and and stick to the game plan and, and give our, give ourselves a chance. Coach, back to last week's game just for a second here. Uh, you guys come out of the second half and go with the onside kick. What went into that decision? Well, I mean, if you if, if keep track of what we've been doing, I mean, the statistics show that you get the onside kick back more than the other team recovers it. So for us, it's just taking advantage, trying to get extra possessions, keep the ball out of their hands and, and – I mean, it worked out for us. I mean, we've been doing it pretty much all season. Uh, we're at we're adding some new wrinkles to it now. But at the end of the day, I know we give us. Everybody's like, "Well, why would you give up short field?" Well, I'll give up a little bit of short field if I can get the ball back. Coach, back to my question about the uh, focus on this week's game. You mentioned uh, trying to contain Harwich. Uh, what goes into trying to accomplish that this week what might be the strategy to not only contain him but also limit Keyshawn Robinson too offensively 
Well, I mean, you know, you got Keyshawn, you got uh, you got Roper, you got uh, Wallace, uh, you got Delgado. I mean, and, and Rockwell. I mean, you got guys down there that across the board are extremely athletic, and then you got a quarterback that can throw and run. So for us, it's you know trying to keep him in the pocket as much as possible, trying to make him you know hit spots, hit windows, and and try to keep Keyshawn from getting free releases. And but at the end of the day, they're moving him around a lot, running back, wing. Inside, outside, so you know, just making sure that they understand we got to know where he's at at all times, and got to understand that you know Keyshawn and and the quarterback ain't the only ones they have because they got some really really good athletes down there. Coach, you had mentioned uh, a few weeks ago heading into that Hoover game, you had some injuries, still had some last week. Uh, how's your team looking from a health perspective? I mean, it's about as healthy as we can be. Uh, I mean, we lost some guys, uh, you know. With the the injury last week in that game with Demonte, you know that's you know that's up in the air, and you know then we got the Kai hurt his ankle in that game. Jake's shoulder banged up. I mean, but at the end of the day, this is football, and we we know at this point in the season, you know you're going to have some banged up guys. It's for us, it's you know finding that next guy, next guy mentality, and at the end of the day, we're going to line up and go play football. Coach, at the halfway point in the season now, your team sitting at. Three and two. When we talked at the beginning of the season after last year getting to the playoffs for the first time in a few years, you said the expectation now is playoffs. It's not playoffs or bust. The expectation is playoffs and wanting to get maybe even a home playoff game. Sitting at three and two, how do you keep those goals achievable in your program? Well, I mean, the biggest thing is is for the rest of the season for us. I mean, every Friday night's a playoff game. Uh, we play in a tough conference. You know, we. We got Jefferson this week, and we go. We get Liberty, who, who's winning games in Maryland. We still have Musselman, Martinsburg, and Spring Mill. So it doesn't get any easier for us, for sure. Uh, but each Friday night, we got to take the field with, you know, if we lose, it could be over. We got to keep keep grinding, trying to figure out how to get wins. And and at the end of the day, the goal is the standards playoffs. I mean, it's that's that's what we wanted to strive to that's what the goal was set last year it's what we reached and that's what we're going to stay to all right coach appreciate the time today and good luck all right i appreciate it folks thank you